Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, and forget not all his benefits. He's the one who have healed our sicknesses and our diseases. And because of that, this evening we are alive. And if even if you are saying you are not well, you are alive. That means you are destined to be delivered. You are destined to be healed. This is the hour of deliverance broadcast. Under the banner of Wings of Eagle, Deliverance Church of God. Mm -hmm. And we are here with you this evening for a word from the Lord in our studies. And this evening we are coming to you under the banner of the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. We want to talk to you this evening that there is power in the blood of Jesus. So just tell somebody that Wings of Eagle is on the air and we uh, are here to tell you this evening that there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is no limit on what the blood of Jesus can't do. People misuse it. People misquote it. But those of us who know God as our Lord and Savior can decree and declare that when we speak it, things happen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And this evening, I just, I'm just going to be reading just a verse of Scripture because there will be many others as we go along. And we are going to be reading from 1 John 1 verse 7. 1 John 1 and the verse 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth from all sins. Can I read that again? But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sins sins this is the word of the lord and we say amen to the words of the lord and may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts this evening be acceptable in thy sight O lord our strength and our redeemer can we just look to the lord in prayer the one by whom we live move and have our being our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy precious name we glorify you we honor you and we exalt you Lord, you are already high and lifted up, but when we exalt you, it means that we are, oh God, have the privilege of going into your presence. And in your presence, there, are, there oh God, are so many things that can happen. Oh God, there is a change in our life. There is a shifting in your presence. There is fullness of joy. We commend ourselves to you this evening. We ask that your blood will be evident upon our lives. Oh God, and every forces of hell that we want to prevail against us this evening we bind them up oh god and we we take the blood of jesus and we flash it on them and we declare oh the gates of hell shall not prevail we commit this studies in your hand this evening we pray that through the power of the holy spirit that the blood of jesus will reach oh god to the highest mountain and flow to the lowest valley it is your blood that saves us it's your blood that ransom us it is your blood that causes us to be alive that in that while we were even sinners, you died for us. We commend this broadcast and we declare that the Holy Spirit will direct our fears this evening. And somebody will be touched. Somebody will be delivered from sin. Somebody will be delivered from sickness. Somebody will be made whole. In Jesus' name, I pray. And uh, let us all say amen. So we just welcome you one and all this evening. And we pray wherever you are, where, whether you're at home, in your cars, on the street, at work, you are welcome to be with us. We, we are feeling the warmth of your presence and we are feeling much more the warmth of the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is with us and we trust God this evening that things will never be the same. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. Uh, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sins. So this is telling me this evening that the reason why we can have fellowship with one another uh, where from your standpoint is because we have already been having fellowship with God. 
Why? Because the blood of Jesus has cleansed us. And we don't want to uh, be selfish with this salvation. We want you to experience the joy of the Lord. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it, it is the remedy for every case. Hallelujah. It is the most potent weapon against spiritual wickedness in high places. To demolish every stronghold of satanic forces. It cannot achieve less. Hallelujah. So if we are using the blood of Jesus. And it's not achieving what it's supposed to be achieved. Let us check ourselves. Because uh, the, the word of God declared that the blood of Jesus cannot uh, uh, um, do less than what he says he will do. Revelation 12, 11 declares. And they overcome. Hallelujah. Him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The blood of Jesus never loses its power. The blood of Jesus never loses its power. Why? Because it is divine blood. Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father. Oh, hallelujah. In John 1, 14, the blood of Jesus avails everything imaginable. So it's, it, it's not... God doesn't do these things, hallelujah. So everything he does, um, you can be tracking him, tracking him, tracking him. It, it, it's imaginable. What happened, what the blood of Jesus do, it is by your faith. Your faith can make you all this evening. Imagine it, think about it, and have faith in God, and it shall come to pass. If you need healing, the blood of Jesus, it is in the blood of Jesus. If you need deliverance, it is in the blood of Jesus. If you need provision, it is all in the blood of Jesus. If we are going to experience the power in the blood of Jesus, we have got to personally apply it to our lives. Can I say that again? If we are to experience, hallelujah, the goodness of God through the blood of Jesus, we have to personally apply it to our lives and our situation hallelujah we apply the blood of jesus by decree so when we say we decree and declare it in the name of jesus that the blood of jesus hallelujah will destroy the powers of darkness and the gates of hell shall not prevail we it, 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 we mean it is already done through the power of the holy spirit we decree it and we declare it we confess the blood of jesus hallelujah when we say we are saved we are confessing that the blood of jesus has ransomed us paid a price and he set us free. And anywhere we go, we want the world to know that the blood of Jesus ransom us. Somebody that the blood of Jesus has ransomed. Can you just right where you are, lift your hand in praises to the Lord. Oh, we glorify the name of Jesus. We confess it. The blood of Jesus speak better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus, that's in Hebrews 12, 24. The blood of Jesus can speak destruction upon our, our enemies. Can I say that again? The blood of Jesus can speak destruction upon our enemies. Don't mess with a child of God who is living for God and is working for God. Is washed in the blood of Jesus, saved and sanctified. Don't mess with a child of God because the same mouth that declares that the blood can save you. Hallelujah. The blood can also destroy our enemies. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I can provide healing to your body, protection to your family. The blood of Jesus brings life to you, both in the spiritual and in the natural. The Bible says that life, hallelujah, the life of the flesh is in the blood. That is Leviticus 7, 11. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, contains divine blood. Oh, hallelujah. That means you cannot mess with it. You cannot... I mess with the blood and cause it to be impure. Because you cannot tamper with the blood of Jesus. Because it is divine blood. When Jesus came on earth. Uh, hallelujah. To rescue lost mankind from sin. Hallelujah. He was, he, was, he was man. But yet he was divine. I want you to know. You can touch man. You can touch the flesh. But you cannot touch the divine. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus has provided everything you need to live in life for victory, including redemption, fellowship, healing, protection, and authority over the devil. Can I tell 
a Christian this evening, a child of God, who the devil wants you to believe and manipulate your spirit. Uh, once you are a child of God and you trust him, you have redemption, fellowship, healing, protection, and most of all, you have authority. Hallelujah. To trample upon every problem serpent, serpent and bind the forces of darkness through the blood of Jesus as Christians. We know about the blood of Jesus because we sing hymns about the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow. That makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We remember it during communion. But how many of us truly know how deep it is. Hallelujah. And how deep the, the blood flows and how high the blood flows. It reaches to the highest mountain. Hallelujah. And flows to the lowest valley. Oh, I wonder if there's anybody who is weak. Weak in mind, weak in spirit this evening. I release the blood of Jesus to you by your station, by your situation. And I declare that you shall receive divine strength. And when you receive divine strength, you're going to get physical strength. And that which the enemy think he had down, you're going to rise up. I wish somebody would shout, there is power in the blood of Jesus to break chains. Hallelujah. To set you free. And the devil might believe he has you on a leash this evening. But once you're a child of God and you shout the blood of Jesus this evening, every leash that holds you back, every non-achievement, demonic forces that have held you back has to release you. For when we stand in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. So as Christians, we know about the blood of Jesus. We sing hymns. Hallelujah. And all that... It has provided for us. Even more important, how many of us use it and apply it to our everyday life? So it is not because the blood of Jesus is not all powerful. Oh, hallelujah. It is because we are not applying it to the blood up to our lives. The songwriters, I must apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. Oh, I wish somebody would glorify. The name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this evening. And declare there is power in the blood of Jesus. From Genesis to Revelation. The words of the blood of Jesus are kept before our eyes. So if you are reading the scriptures. You would see that from Genesis to every Revelation. Hallelujah. Everything in the Bible is symbolic of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. A reminder of this importance and the significance to God and us is through the sacrifices, hallelujah, that were given, a uh, sacrifice of Abel, Noah, Isaac, uh, and the Passover lamb, our, and the giving of the law, all came to pass, but without, but not without the blood. All of these things came to pass, but not without the blood. Hebrews 9, 7. The blood of Jesus symbolized cleansing and purification. Hallelujah. The settling of the matter. I wonder if you have a matter this evening that you want to settle. Or somebody loves to talk about, talk about we want to settle the score. Or if you want to settle the score in your life this evening to prove to the enemy that you are a winner. To prove that you are more than conqueror. I want you to apply the blood of Jesus to your life. When the enemy wants you to destroy yourself, to commit suicide, hallelujah, and to, to take drugs and pop pills and do all kind of stuff and to curse and swear, just apply the blood of Jesus to your life. When the devil wants to kill you, oh, hallelujah, and destroy you, you need to apply the blood of Jesus to your life because the, the, the blood of Jesus can wash away all sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. How does the settling of the matter come? It comes through God's love. God's love. That in that while we were yet sinners. I love God. Oh hallelujah. The bank would tell you. That you have to make some. Meet some form of qualification. To get a loan. Oh my God. And even now. Oh in many institutions. 
Hallelujah. If you're looking at a job or whatever, you have to meet certain requirements. But Jesus made provision, hallelujah, by the shedding of his blood on Calvary's cross. Before I was born, before you were born, we were prepared for. Hallelujah. Because God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The greatest expression of his love towards us, the blood of Jesus, that the love covers every human need. The love of God through the blood of Jesus covers every human need. Every need that we have and will ever have. Oh, hallelujah, is already taken care of through the blood of Jesus. We experience the outpouring of his love. It is his love through the blood of Jesus that has created, ah, hallelujah, that barrier for you and all the works of the devil. So I want some people that are boasting to, tonight in, in Christendom to know that we cannot boast except through the blood of Jesus Christ. Because it is the blood that creates that barrier. Or somebody needs to say barrier. It's not you. It's not my body. It's not your body. It is not our strength and our power that has created the buffer. It's not our loud mouth. It is the blood of Jesus Christ that has created a barrier between us and the devil. And can I tell somebody who is fearful of the threats of the enemy this evening that the devil cannot cross the bloodline. Hallelujah. Later on you will see why we say the devil cannot cross the bloodline. Of all the glorious things that the blood of Jesus means, this is one of the most glorious things. His blood is the sign, hallelujah, the measure, yes, the impartation of his love, hallelujah. Let us evaluate the blood of Jesus to the same place in our hearts. It has in God's heart, just like how we love God. Um, God love us, we can in turn love him. Oh, hallelujah, the power of the blood of Jesus. Uh, it has provided everything we need to live a life of victory, including redemption. The blood of Jesus ransomed me. Pay the price and he set me free. And anywhere I go, I want the world to know that the blood of Jesus ransomed me. Hallelujah. Had it not been that the blood of Jesus ransomed us, then we would... Oh, the scripture declares that we were like dogs and sorcerers, were mongers. Hallelujah. We did not have any amb amb spiritual ambition. We did not, some of us did not have any ambition at all. But when the blood reaches our heart, the blood makes the difference. Can I tell you that the blood makes a difference? The blood of Jesus provides the only solution to man's greatest problem. Man's greatest problem is that we were all born in sin and shaping iniquity. In sin did our parents conceive us. I want you to know this evening, my brothers and sisters, that God has made provision through the redemption of his blood. You know the story. Satan came down to Adam's wife Eve in the form of a serpent and deceived her into disobeying God. Adam allow himself to follow suit. Just like many people today, instead of being, hallelujah, close to God and listening to God, or they, if their friend is not going into the house of the Lord, they are not going. If their friend is not going to a particular church, they are not going. So in churches today, we find schemes and cliques and groups. But I want you to know when the blood of Jesus is applied to your heart, your body, your soul, and your spirit. Uh, hallelujah. You have, you have a relationship with God. If what your friend is not doing is not right, you cannot follow your friend because the blood of Jesus has bring you into a covenant with Christ. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, when he did that, he, he, when Adam did that, uh, following Eve, he made uh, um, Satan his Lord. In bowing his knees to Satan, Adam turned over his authority. Can I tell you that when we tell people, hallelujah, that we are, we, we are, we're going to tell them or we tell them a piece of our mind, or we behave in, ungod, in an ungodly manner, 
or, or we dodge uh, behind the, the scenes. Remember, we cannot hide from God. His eyes are watching us. Can I say that to somebody this evening? The eyes of the Lord are up on his people. And his ears are open unto their cry. Oh, hallelujah. So God's eyes are upon every one of us. We can't hide from him. Oh, so whenever you think of, uh, of sinning against God, I want you to don't think of your pastor. Because if every other pastor was like, were like me, I have no time to watch people. I don't even have time to watch myself because it's not me. You ought to be careful about you. You ought to be careful about your relationship with the Almighty God. Don't let the devil deceive you. You are not answerable to man. You are answerable to the Almighty God because it is he who has uh, shed his blood and Calvary's cross for us. From that day uh, when Satan... Uh, hallelujah submit himself to uh, um, Adam rather submit himself to the devil uh, from that day everything changed with one trespass death was passed upon all men Romans 5 12 the earth and everything suddenly uh, was cursed so can I tell you this evening that sin is a curse that was placed upon mankind and if the devil Satan had the chance to repent, he would. <laughs> Can I say that again? Sin is a curse that was placed upon mankind. And if Satan had the chance to repent, he would want to go back to heaven. Hallelujah. To conduct the choir that he was conducting up here. It's no wonder the world today is so filthy with some things. Oh, that are not clean that some people call music so dirty and, and, and mucky but I want you to know that it's because Satan hallelujah he has turned around the thing and he, he has deceived many in this world with his type, some type of rhythm and messy words but I want you to know that God can turn it around hallelujah because the great God that I know hallelujah can transform you this evening and make something beautiful out of your life the earth and everything was suddenly cursed and man was separated from God by sin. This sounds unflexible. But I want you to know that it is so. Mankind could not turn back. Because God placed Adam and Eve in the garden. And some people will have their story telling you all kind of things. But I want you to know it's no different from today. That God has placed us in this world and he we know wrong from right because it was from people who were born uh, it, it doesn't matter even those who are saying that there is no God they know that there is a God they are just trying to deceive themselves but we know in whom we are believe and we are persuaded that he is able God put a plan in place his redemption plan was the same as it was for Abel Moses and Noah it would be true the shedding of blood such great redemption for all mankind from eternity hallelujah oh hallelujah who eternity would experience we who are cleansed by the blood of jesus uh, uh, to eternity we will live on hallelujah so this evening i want you to know that the redemptive power through the blood is for all mankind for eternity oh blessed be the name of jesus I also want us to know that the great thing is that the blood of Jesus can accomplish, hallelujah, far much more than we do think. It wash away sins, hallelujah, make you clean and pure, as white as snow. From the minute you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God will not remember your past sins. Can I say that again? Because the blood takes care of it. Oh, some some of us need to hear it. Some church goers need to hear it. Some persons need to hear it. That from the moment you give your life over to Jesus. I am not talking about going back to what you have left out. Once you are living clean and pure for the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, the past sins are not remembered anymore. Some people, oh, they want to bring up your past as soon as you are not doing whatever they say. But I want you to know Jesus cast your record of sinfulness. 
into the sea of forgetfulness never to be remembered anymore the best part of you hallelujah don't have to earn this the best part of you don't have to earn this all of you none of you don't have to earn this because none of us can pay for the blood of jesus hallelujah oh the best thing that you could ever do is to accept the free gift that is given to you through the blood of Jesus, and that is salvation. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty, 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 mighty God we serve. And it all comes through the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. The blood of Jesus provides the only solution to man's greatest problem, and man's greatest problem was sin. As I say, we were we were born in sin and shape in iniquity. I was born into a fallen world. Oh, but Jesus has lifted me up out of the slum and out of the muck, the pain of sin and death immediately attach itself to us when we come into this world. It is no wonder us uh, we know that babies have to cry for them to uh, really rec uh, show us that um, for us to recognize that they have life. But it's no wonder the first thing they will do is to cry. Because when oh, the, 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 the Spirit of God that has already been in them recognize the pain and the anguish that they are now attached to, they will have to cry. Because if soon and very soon they don't get rid of that sin and that pain in their lives, they will be ravaged by the powers of darkness. But I want us to know this evening that the blood of Jesus has power. To release every grip. Hallelujah. Of the great curse of sin. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus can and will and has caused reformation in my life. And some others life that are looking. Oh that's why you can shout a praise. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord this evening. Because of the reformation that Christ has made in our lives. We can declare that the blood of Jesus is immeasurable. You can't put a tape measure on it. You can't put a yardstick on it. You can't put nothing on it and declare that it, can, it is as far as it can go. No, the blood of Jesus. Can, there is no limit on the blood of Jesus. I have oh, proven that there is no limit. Because, hallelujah, I know who I am. And I know who was, whose I am. And I know who I was before the blood of Jesus runs on me. I have provided, oh, hallelujah, Oh, Jesus said, all that I have needed. My hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. The blood of Jesus is more powerful than you can think. Check it out. My doubt, hallelujah, are settled and I know it's real. This evening, my debt is paid. Uh, is there another child of God that can say this evening that the debt that you owe have paid, you could not pay it. But Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. And all he's asking for us is to live righteous and godly in this present world. So, so Christ was offered to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear the second time apart from sin. For salvation that is hebrews 9 28 so can i say to some persons who are living recklessly um this, this one, one secular songwriter said they're living dangerously if you are not applying the blood of jesus to your life or if you say you're a christian and you are in your home or out of the pastor's um sight and the bridge inside and you are still using curse words you need to apply the blood of Jesus to your soul. Hallelujah. Because when the blood of Jesus reaches your soul, your lips will speak, thus said the Lord. Your lips will be speaking the words from the book, the manual, the Bible, or oh, out of the, 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 the intent of the heart, the mouth speaks. So don't tell me that your mouth slip. When you practice what you practice, is that is what is going to come out of you. But I can tell you this evening. Uh, I don't care about to say come down through the ages. Uh, that's the way my grandmother was. That's the way my mother is. That's why Jesus came to change and break the curse. If you would apply the blood of Jesus uh, uh, by sacrifice. 
present your body a living sacrifice unto the Almighty God, oh, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world and its system. Be not conformed to the pressures of life, but apply the blood of Jesus to your soul. Oh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Only the blood of Jesus can renew your mind. Only the blood of Jesus can re renew your thought. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. Hallelujah. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus right where you are and get back your spiritual composure. Shout the blood of Jesus and shake the powers of hell. Shake the, oh, hallelujah. Shout the blood of Jesus and let the devil know that the body that is feeling pain, the body that seemed to want to give way is the temple of the living God. And plead the blood of Jesus and say, devil, get out of my body, get out of my mind, get out of my thought, because the blood of Jesus is powerful. I am justified. Romans 5, 9 declare, uh, we are justified by the blood of Jesus. Much more than having now been justified by the blood of Jesus, we shall be saved Hallelujah. From wrath through him. The wrath of God. We were destined. Mankind was destined for the wrath of God to destroy us. But Jesus came. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name. And bridge that gap. Uh, uh, they crucify him. They place a crown of thorn on his head. They whipped him. They mocked him. I was privileged, my brothers and sisters, to experience uh, the experience that I was able to walk oh, oh, on those streets that he walked through the streets oh, where they dragged him in, in, the, in the Middle East. Uh, Oh, and, and, and carried him, oh, with a crown of thorn on his head and that heavy cross on his back. But, oh, hallelujah, oh, how hard it was for him to bear. The song man said, with some anguish and loss, Jesus went to the cross and he carried my sins with him there. Oh, I am justified, meaning that it's as if I have never sinned. Oh, glory to God. Oh, the stench of sin in my life uh, was, was, was not smelling good. But today, I can declare, I'm born again, I feel free. No longer alone. A bright light is shining to show me a world that I own. I can see my way clear. I know that he walks beside me. All those prayers I prayed were not in vain. I'm born again through the blood of Jesus. Is there another witness this evening? We are justified. We are made clean and pure and right before him as we have never sinned. Oh, we are forgiven. Oh, somebody shout, I am forgiven. Somebody that has been born of the water, the spirit and the blood, shout, I am forgiven. When you are forgiven, if the Son set you free, you are free indeed. Ephesians 1, 7. In him we have redemption through the blood of Jesus, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. The grace of God is his love. Oh, that in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The grace of God is God's unmerited favor. We did not deserve it, but I am glad that he looked beyond my faults and saw my need. I wish I had another witness this evening to lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for the blood. For if, had, if it had not been for the blood of Jesus, I am sure that there would be more problems in the world today. The governments of the land, the police, the soldiers, the army would be having more problems. But thank God for the blood of Jesus that has caused a body of people all over this world to be serving a risen Savior. He is in the world today. Hallelujah. I know that he's living. Whatever men may say. I see his hands of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. Hallelujah. And I know he's alive. Oh, somebody who knows he's alive. I feel him in my soul right now. Somebody glorify the Lord. Because he has forgiven you by his grace. Hallelujah. I'm Speared from God's wrath through the blood of Jesus. Romans 5, 9. Much more than having now been justified by his blood. We shall be saved from his wrath. I'm being spiritually healed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, spiritually healed. 
Oh, one day even my flesh will be replaced with an incorruptible body. Hallelujah. I, I, I can't wait to see that transition. Because some of us, we, we place a stake down in this world. Some of us don't even want to see people visit our veranda, our earthly heaven. Oh, uh, if, if you ever need a cup of water from some people that are coming from some poor background, they wouldn't give it to you because they are now high. But I, I want you to know when the blood of Jesus has reached your heart, you cannot see your fellow man in need. I don't care if they are saved or they are unsaved, you cannot see them indeed and turn your back upon them. Jesus did not do it while he was on earth. Even when this woman was caught in the very act of adultery and they brought her to Jesus for Jesus to despise her. Hallelujah. Jesus did not despise her. Jesus just stooped down as if he was writing on the ground and said, He that is without sin, cast the first stone. There are some of us uh, who say we are washed in the blood of Jesus. And when we realize today we don't want certain category of people in our church. Uh, which Who has made you Lord over God heritage? No man on earth, no pastor, nobody has owned any church. The church belongs to Jesus. There are two churches on earth, uh, and one, hallelujah, is a part of the other. We have the universal church, which is belonging to the Almighty God, and we have the local church, which is a part of the universal church. They, it's one church. Oh, the, the, oh, the church is one foundation. It's Jesus Christ the Lord. Nobody owns any church. The church belongs to Jesus. He purchased it with his blood. He purchased my redemption. Hallelujah. My righteousness is he. Somebody better exalt him this evening and forget about yourself. Concentrate on him and give him worship. Oh, blessed be the rock of ages. We glorify your name this evening, Lord. We thank you that we are spiritually healed. Oh, uh, that means when you, when, when, because when we mess up, we know. When we make a mistake, when we sin against God, we know. We can just go back and apply the blood of Jesus, ask for forgiveness. So I want you to know that the day of the priest is over. You don't have to come to me to tell me that you have sinned. God, you didn't sin against me, you sin against God. So you can go right to God, bow and act. Oh, hallelujah. I am happy. Oh, that's because some people are late. Some people are very late, very, very late, because when they hear about people's failure and they want to use it against them, I want you to know that they are late because God knows before them. And if God knows before them, it means that they are late. I am not uh, I'm motivating you to go and sin. I am not promoting sin. But hallelujah, when you love, if, if the blood, since the blood of Jesus Cause the love of God to be shed abroad in our hearts and we must love our neighbors as ourselves. If And love cover it a multitude of sin. Don't cover up but cover it a multitude of We cannot scandalize our brothers and sisters if God's blood is on our soul. We would try to, oh hallelujah, oh let the redemption process, oh work again and try to pull them out and rest, restore them from where they are. I want you, the, the world today is packed with backsliders and some of us don't care if they come back because we think, oh, hallelujah, heaven is belonging to us alone. But there is going to be a surprise in heaven because there are many persons who want to come to the house of God and because of many people, oh, they have to stay in their room and cry out to the almighty God and heaven, there is going to be a surprise in heaven But because I want to tell you, it is not our long dresses and our pretty suits that are going to take us. It's because we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. When you are redeemed, you are changed. When you are redeemed, you cannot speak evil against people. When you are redeemed, you cannot plot against people to destroy them. When you are redeemed, hallelujah, you make yourself available in the kingdom of God to work. Because like Jesus, we must say, I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can work. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody would bless the name of the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I am spiritually healed. And there is something I know, notice about when you are spiritually healed. Hallelujah. Uh, have everything else come under subjection. If there is any sickness in your body or oh, the physical is also healed when you are spiritually healed. 
Oh, one day even my flesh will be replaced, as I say, with the incorruptible body. So it means that we are, when you are spiritually healed, you are preparing that this body, this corruption, shall put on incorruption. And this mortal, hallelujah, shall put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying, hallelujah, that death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, so some people believe that when we die here on earth, uh, that the grave is the end of it all. No, oh, hallelujah. Oh, if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. Jesus died for my resurrection. Jesus died, hallelujah, to, for my salvation. Is there another witness? Oh, bless the name of Jesus, who he himself bore our sins in his own body on a tree. That we having died to, to, to sin might live for righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. 1 Peter uh, 2 verse 24. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on a tree. <laughs> that we, ha he, we having died to sin might live for righteousness by whose stripes we are healed and that is why i am spiritually alive today i am physically alive because of the blood of jesus then jesus said unto them assuredly i say unto you unless you eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood you have no life in you oh blessed be the name of the lord this is a faith walk because a lot of persons today see we take Holy Communion and believe that we are, we are cannibals or we are displaying cannibalistic behavior. But I want you to know that Jesus declared, oh, blessed be the name of Jesus, that if we refuse to do this, then we are in trouble. Jesus said unto them, most assuredly, I say unto you, unless we eat of the flesh of the Son of Man, and this was symbolic. This was metaphorical. He was speaking. Uh, not literally. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Then we are going to be in trouble with God. My judgment has been satisfied. And I am at peace with my God. My judgment has been... God is satisfied with His Son. Because what happened? He was willing. The song man said there was one who was willing... To die in my stead. That a soul so unworthy might live. On the path of the cross. He was willing to tread. All the sins of my life to forgive. They are nailed to the cross. They are nailed to the cross. Oh how much he was willing. Oh, to bear with such anguish and loss. Jesus went to the cross. And he carried my sins with him there. But he was wounded for our transgression. Isaiah 53 5. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. We are healed from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. We are healed in mind, body and soul. When you are healed, you forgive. How can I say that again? When you are healed in your spirit, you forgive. And a lot of us want people to forgive us. And we don't want to forgive people. I want you to know this evening. Oh, we are not on the topic of unforgiveness. But I want you to know that when you refuse to forgive somebody. It's not the person who you refuse to forgive. Uh, is going to feel any pain. It's not, you're killing your own self. Because it takes so much effort out of you. Oh, to, to, to build up unforgiveness. Uh, that it, 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 it would be amazing to know. How, how damaging it is to your body, your mind, and your spirit. But Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. So it doesn't matter what you have already done. If you are willing to apply the blood of Jesus to your life, it can become powerful, transforming, delivering, healing, hallelujah, to your body, soul, and spirit. The bloodstream of his people Israel were purged. Can I tell you this evening? Israel was known as God's and is still known as God's choice people, but because they have rejected him. That's why Jesus came, that you and I can have life and have it more abundantly. 
the bloodstream of his, his people Israel will be purged. For I will cleanse their blood. It's Joel 3.21. For I will cleanse their blood that have not been cleansed. For the Lord dwells in Zion. Zion is, hallelujah, the body of Christ. I want you to know that when God declares that his blood, hallelujah, cleanse and he dwells in Zion, he, he means it. So I want you to know that you can mess with the church and get away. If you, if you believe you get away today, I, I can rest assured that whenever tomorrow comes, you're not going to get away. Because my God tells me, whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. And a lot of people today who you see are suffering is because they mess with the children of God. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I am glad I am cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I'm cleansed. I wish somebody who, who is cleansed and you know that you are saved. Hallelujah. Some man say, I am saved and I know that I am. If you know that you are cleansed, lift your hand and shout, I'm cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. But if we walk in the light, John 1, 7, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. Oh, hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sins. If you are, now I know what is happening in Christendom today. Now I know why some people segregate themselves from others. Because if the blood of Jesus Christ is in you, you are going to love your brothers and sisters in spite of. <laughs> Let this one circulate through the airwaves. Uh, if you refuse to love your brothers and sisters, don't even think about God. Because you're nowhere in God's book of love. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. If you walk in the light, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. So it seems as if that many people who classify themselves as children of God, they are still walking in darkness. But if you walk in the light, as he's in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sins. So you don't have to fake it. Once you are cleansed from sin, your lifestyle is going to demonstrate it. That you are washed in the blood. In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. That your garments are spotless. Hallelujah. Oh, when you are oh, demonstrating the power in the blood. Oh, I have power to overcome the enemy. Oh, some people are just giving to everything that the devil uh, puts at them. Oh, there is no price on their lives when there is no price tag on your life oh of the blood of jesus the devil is going to come and just push you over somebody need to let the devil know that you are there's power in the blood of jesus and you are not a pushover i have power to overcome the enemy revelation 12 11 and they overcome him who satan by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Yes, so now I know why people don't want to testify when they get a chance to do it. Because they are not overcomers. No, and we, we have lost it because some people believe that your testimony must be telling everybody your business. Oh, no, 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 no. You only tell people what you want them to know. Can I say that? You don't have to, if you get a million dollars, you don't have to say you get a million dollars to let them start tracking down and thieves start to break in and steal and people come in. Oh, lend me this and lend me that. No, no, you said the Lord has blessed you. Oh, you get the blessing of the Lord. Yeah, make it rich. Uh, have no sorrow to it. So when you use that the Lord has blessed you and uh, the rest of it is your business. Oh, hallelujah. You don't have to tell everything. When Jesus was on earth, Jesus hardly tell people his next move. They just seem in action. The, the world is what it is today because we are telling people everything about ourselves. And then we blame that people talk it. I want you to know that anything you tell one person, expect it. Or you run the risk of the world knowing. But when you tell it to Jesus, it stays hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I have power to overcome the enemy. And they overcome him, Satan. Oh, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. When you declare that Jesus saved, it means that you have applied the blood of Jesus to your life. And love not their lives unto death. You know, some people love their lives that... Oh, oh my God, they, they, the least little thing they hear, they refuse 
to, to, to go out there and, and witness. Uh, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of this and I'm scared of that. And they're still they're scared of their own shadow. They are in their bedroom and they are scared. They are scared everywhere. But when the blood of Jesus is on your soul, oh God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. I have power to overcome the enemy. I'm no longer under the curse of the law. Oh, I wish somebody would declare it this evening that I am no longer under the curse of the law. Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law in Galatians 3.13. Having become a curse for us, so Jesus makes sure, because the Bible had declared, curse is everyone that hanged upon a tree. And Jesus became that curse, so that the curse can remove from our life. So anything named curse that happens to us today, is because we take it up on ourselves. Curse can be removed. Curse is everyone who has hanged upon a tree. But Jesus has took the curse and he sought us out this evening. And those who are sought out by the blood of Jesus, let us not go back into where we are coming from. And if we have failed, if we have messed up, we can go back to him and say, Lord, I have sinned and come short of your glory. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit away from me, but restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Oh, hallelujah, that your blood can come alive in my spiritual vein again. I'm no longer a, a, a stranger to the covenant of promise. God has promised us we were aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. There was a time. When we were without Christ, when we were classified, Ephesians 2, 12 to 13 will tell you that we were classified as strangers to the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope without God in this world. But now Jesus Christ, hallelujah, now Christ Jesus, oh, blessed be the name of Jesus, who once was not recognized by many, have brought us near by his blood. Oh, by the blood of Jesus Christ. He used his blood to pull us near to him. When the son man realized what the blood of Jesus has done for him, he said, draw me nearer. Hallelujah. Because the closer I get, the more I feel the glory. Hallelujah. Of the soon coming king. So he said, draw me nearer. But now in Jesus Christ, Oh, who once were afar off had been brought near by the blood of Christ. So you children of God, let us not live as if we, 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 we have no hope. As if we are not cared for. As if we are not paid for. We have been washed in his fountain. Cleansed by his blood. We are joined here with Jesus as we travel along. We are not squatters. We are a part of the family of God. His royal blood run. Oh, hallelujah. God's DNA is in every child of God. And when the enemy try to, oh, hallelujah, come upon us like a flood, the spirit of God is going to lift a standard because the DNA of God is in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Somebody lift him up this evening. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, the final act of the public uh, expiration has been made on our behalf. For the life of a creature is in the blood. So Jesus Christ caused sin to expire. I want you to know that your your, your package of sin can be expired this evening, this moment. He is passing by this moment. Your needs to supply. Just let the power of the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, be applied to your life. There can be an expiration. Hallelujah, sin in your life through the blood of Jesus. And I have given it to you to make, to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes the atonement for one's life. Can I say that again? Mm -hmm. It's not me. I speak the word of the Lord. Every other minister speak the word of the Lord. And you come. It is none of us that pulls you to Christ. It is Christ's words that pulls, oh hallelujah, you to him. 
Oh, blessed be the name of... I wish every Christian could be saved like the Apostle Paul so that some of us ministers can't be boasting that they get saved under my ministry and they save under, under my ministry and like we own people. Nobody owns any child of God. Uh, Paul, when God wanted Paul, he knocked him down on the, um, the, the Damascus Road and in blindness and he said, Oh, Lord, what... Oh, Ask the Lord, what do you want me to do? And God sent him to the street, the street called Straight. Uh, and Hananiah saw, so hallelujah, his eyes were able to be washed. Uh, and he, he see. And after that, Paul, when Paul received his transformation to the blood, he said, I am not ashamed. Hallelujah. The same Paul that used to persecute the Christian, the same Paul that used to persecute the church, is now saying, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power, hallelujah, of God unto salvation. And he was able to exhort the churches, uh, the Corinthian church, the Ephesian church, the Roman church. He was able to exhort them even from prison. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. He is great and marvelous. Uh, oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Colossians 2.15 I have gained the unmerited favor of God. The, through the power of the blood of Jesus, let me personalize it. I have gained the unmerited favor of God. Continue to favor me, Lord. Oh, we want favor in cash. We want favor to get a house. We want favor to get a car and favor to get the things of this world. The best favor Hallelujah, the best favor, the divine favor that we could ever experience is through the blood of Jesus which allow us forgiveness of our sins. Ephesians 1, 7. Again, oh, hallelujah, in him we have redemption through the blood of Jesus, uh, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Oh, I have been declared righteous. Every child of God has been declared righteous through the blood of Jesus. Through the power in the blood of Jesus, we have been declared righteous. For he had made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. So Jesus did not know sin. I want you to know again that Jesus did not came about when he was born of the Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. God allowed him to be, oh, uh, hallelujah, conceived, born of a woman. And he wouldn't run the risk of allowing Jesus Christ to be born in air of any woman that was touched by another man. But he had to, to, he had to allow Mary in her teenage stage to carry Jesus Christ before anybody messed with her because he could not allow his son Jesus Christ to be born in a sinful body. But blessed be the name of Jesus. The angel said, Mary, you are highly favored among women. And even though Joseph, he, who he was exposed to, Joseph was her expected husband. But Joseph did not, hallelujah, have any affair with her. So Joseph thought of putting her away privately. But oh, hallelujah, through the, 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 the precious blood of Jesus Christ, uh, which, oh, hallelujah, Mary was carrying in her womb. Oh, the angels had to, to appear to Mary and let Mary know, hallelujah, Joseph, no, rather, that what your wife is carrying is not normal, but it's of the Holy Spirit. So I have been justified, just as if I had no sin. <laughs> oh, Romans 3, 24 to 25 being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that Jesus Christ, whom God has set forth for the propitiation of by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because of his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Push them over. Turn them over. That's why I said the record is... It, 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 it erased. So it doesn't matter what we have done. God has erased the past. 
And if God has erased the past, don't go back into it. The devil wants to put your mind back into the gutter where you're coming from. I, I decree and declare this evening that there's power in the blood of Jesus to let you retain your spiritual sanity and you're not going back where you're coming from because God have already declared you righteous for he had made, oh hallelujah, him who knew no sin to be our sin that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We are able to become close to God. But now in Jesus Christ, you have who were once afar off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ, Ephesians 2.13. We can participate, not just only saying that we are, oh, Sunday's communion and I'm going, and you live like the devil Monday morning. No, no, no. We can participate in communion of the remembrance of his sacrifice. Jesus says, as oft, all his disciples, as often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. So when we participate in Holy Communion, we are doing it in the remembrance of the sacrificial Lamb of God, who is Jesus Christ, so it is not to be played with. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant of my blood which was shed for you. That's what he said to the disciples. This, what we are doing, this supper that we are having is symbolic Hallelujah, of the covenant of my blood which was shed for you. My redemption will never perish. Therefore, our redemption will never perish as long as we abide in him. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will and it shall be done because the blood has provided, oh hallelujah, that type of a relationship that we can ask what we will Oh, hallelujah, according to his will, and it shall be done. Knowing that we who have been redeemed, oh, hallelujah, with corruptible things like silver and gold, for your aimless conduct have received by tradition of your fathers. So those of us who are of this world, are the things of this world, we are, we, we, we are, um, Awarded, oh hallelujah, are rewarded for that which we have done. So he said, knowing that you who have not redeemed with corruptible things like silver and gold for from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but you have, hallelujah, you are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. So I want you to know this evening that what Jesus' blood is not perishable. <laughs> Jesus' blood is real. It cannot, oh, it can wash away things, but it cannot be washed away. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus' blood cannot be washed away. Jesus' blood, hallelujah. That's why the songwriter said, I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I'll soon be closing. How oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus testify on our behalf that I am clean. Jesus testifies on our behalf that I am clean. So every child of God, you must, if you believe that you are clean, you are clean. And when people try to allow you to behave like you're not clean, you will remember that you're clean. And you will not say any and anything come to your mouth. You will not tell them a piece of your mind. But you will stand fast in this liberty that through the blood of Jesus which God has made you free. And be not again entangled in the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah to the Almighty God. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his blood, and has made us kings. Hallelujah! Has made us kings. So stop living like you're a squatter, because Jesus has made us kings and priests to God the Father. To him be glory, dominion, majesty, and power forever. Revelation 1 verse 5. So you are not a squatter in the kingdom of God. You are kings and priests and princesses. Hallelujah. And queens in the kingdom of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And you are free. 
you are free and i tell you when you are free you must stand fast in the liberty when and act like you're free for god uh, hallelujah has made you free and be not again entangled in the yoke of bonded galatians 5 1 oh you are protected from judgment by the blood of jesus i say you are protected from judgment both in this life and the life to come in this life because you're a child of god even if they lie on you and you go before an unjust judge oh hallelujah once your trust and your confidence is in the almighty god he will deliver you oh glory to the almighty god and you're protected from judgment that you shall say it is the passover sacrifice of the lord who pass over the house of his children israel he struck the Egyptians and delivered the household of the people. Oh, bow their heads and worship. Exodus 12, 27. Now, when you are a child of God, if you listen to the, 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 the declaration of God, you will obstruct the powers of darkness. Because once they were told to put the blood on the doorposts, and they carried out a function, and because they carried out that function, they were preserved. But those who did not have the, have the blood on their doorposts, uh, their, all the firstborn of their family died, including the house of Pharaoh. I want you to know this evening, if we refuse to accept Jesus Christ, it means that we are exposed to the dangers of life and the demonic world. And we will, uh, sometimes you go where some persons are and all you can hear uh, when the casket is going down or in the funeral service, gone too soon. But when you are sealed by the blood, preserved by the blood, sheltered and protected by the blood, it means that your life is in a good standing with God. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You are protected from the judgment of the enemy. I'm free from a conscience of defiled. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I'm not defiled by my guilt. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. Let us draw near to God with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled oh hallelujah from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water that's Hebrews 10 22 I am no longer condemned can I tell you again you, when you have the blood of Jesus you are no longer condemned I don't know care who want, want to condemn you Oh, hallelujah. Oh, if Jesus set you free, you are free indeed. There is therefore now, Romans, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I've been separated from the world, and I'm declared holy. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Look at us who were raveling in sin, are now declared holy because of the blood of Jesus Christ, because of the power in the blood of Jesus. I've been crucified with Christ. I am, it's no longer I that live. Paul declared it. I am crucified with Christ. I am no longer, it's no longer that I that live, but the Christ that lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 Oh, I can proclaim victory this evening in closing. Because Revelation 12.11 declares, And they overcome or overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. Oh, glory to the Almighty God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Uh, and last but not least, my brothers and sisters, I can enter boldly into the holies of holies. I can enter into prayer. I can go into my closet. I have a relationship with God. I don't have to ask anybody permission when or how I can talk to God. Because the thing about God, I don't have to open my mouth to speak to Him. I can speak to Him from my heart. Uh, oh, glory to the Almighty God. So some people, oh, hallelujah. Oh, even when they're trying to hurt us and hold, some will hold our hands and try to pass on their demonic things on us. Uh, but oh, hallelujah, when the Spirit of God tells us what is happening, we can just whisper something to God and bind them up. Hallelujah. Because what happened, the blood is like a compass. The blood is like a detective, a spiritual detective. Oh, blessed, uh, oh, the blood and water and demonic forces cannot mix. The blood is not, this blood is not impure blood. It is pure blood. I can enter into the holies of holies and live. 
Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the new uh, and living way, which is consecrated for us through the evil that is in the flesh, is flesh having, oh, oh hallelujah, I priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled, oh, hallelujah, from an evil conscience. Oh, and our bodies washed with pure water. Hebrews 10, 19 to 22. I further declare this evening, who being the brightness of the, his glory and express image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged us, hallelujah, purged us from our sin, sat down at the right hand of majesty and I, Hebrews 1 13. I want you to know that God is no, oh, hallelujah, in the person of Jesus Christ, is no longer sitting at the edge of his tomb. He is no longer walking the streets of Galilee or Jerusalem or Capernaum. He is now sitting at the right hand of majesty. And that means power. It means that, hallelujah, those who are sealed by his blood have power. Oh, because there is wonder working power in the blood. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Whatever you are experiencing this evening, hallelujah, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Oh, hallelujah. If you are double minded this evening with a link up to the blood of Jesus Christ, meaning coming to God. And if you come to him, I want to say to you, he will in no wise cast you out. You might be locked out of your very home. You might be shut out of a relationship. But Jesus is saying this evening, I want to marry to even a backslider this evening. He can welcome you back into covenant relationship with him like he welcome. Oh, hallelujah. The prodigal son. In that story, the father welcomed him back home. Even though he had went out and spent his life in righteous living. It doesn't matter how far you have gone. The blood of Jesus can restore you. Hallelujah. In the valley, he restored my soul. Can I pray with someone this evening? Someone who has believed that your life is too far gone. There is power in the blood of Jesus to pull you back. I, I, by faith, I want... I, I, I'm, I'm experiencing God holding on to the rain this evening. He's always trying to pull you back. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and learn of me, and ye shall find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Whatever you're going through, trust God, and you shall live through the blood of Jesus. Father, we come to you this evening. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for the power in your blood. Your blood, oh hallelujah, is transforming. Your blood is revealing. Your blood that heals and delivers will destroy the enemy. So this evening, oh God, we place our lives in your hand. Oh God, as your people have listened to this word, oh that there is power in the blood of Jesus. I pray you'll reach out and touch them, Lord. Help them to know that your blood is efficacious. Your blood is powerful. Your blood is redeeming. Your blood is wonderful. Your blood is holy. Your blood is righteous. And they have not gone too far that you can pull them back to you. Because you are a righteous and you are a holy God. This evening I commend them to you. Those who are, uh, oh God, whose life has been reveling in sin. I pray, God, that you will allow them to know that you still love and care for them because it is in that while we were yet sinners, you die for us. God, those who are suffering, those who are suffering in pain and anguish this evening, those who, oh God, have been to the doctor and not even the doctor, not even seem to help. Some are still in pain. Some are still worried. Some are still confused. Even the very doctor and the specialist is not sure about what is happening. Oh God, they are only contemplating if the cause is cancer, but the blood of Jesus 
I bind up cancer this evening. I command every cancer cell in the bodies of God's people. And somebody that is listening now, oh, hallelujah, I release the blood of Jesus and it shall become liquid fire this evening. I shall burn out every cell of, of cancer in the bodies, oh God, this evening. I pray their salvation. I pray their deliverance. I pray that the blood of Jesus will bring a family unit back together. I declare that the blood of Jesus will bring a marriage back together. Oh God, we pray against, oh God, let them use the blood of Jesus and we declare this evening, oh God, that that case of divorce will, oh hallelujah, will be, oh God, oh hallelujah, will be dealt with through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. God, in the court it is, but Lord, I want you to intervene. Oh God, your daughter, oh God, is crying out for help this evening. But I pray in the name of Jesus, as I see in the spirit realm. Oh God, let your blood reach your daughter's heart. And let she continue to feed, oh God, from the divine blood of Jesus. That she will not worry, oh God, and let the enemy rejoice over her. We pray for that son. We pray for that daughter this evening. Who have, oh God, rebelled against you and have moved out of the home, causing, oh God, that mother to be worried. I pray that through the power of your blood, you will speak to that, oh God, that young girl, that young man this evening and rescue them. We pray that every condition will be met through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ this evening. We use the blood against the sorcerers this evening. We use the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, against the witchcraft worker and the other worker. We declare that they, oh God, the power through the blood of Jesus will destroy every demonic altar. And those who declare that we shall come to naught, they shall come to naught in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare your blood over the church. Oh God, everywhere, the enemy is after the church. Oh God, but we pray that through the blood of Jesus, which has ransomed us, you declare, Lord, that through your blood, oh, you have built your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. The powers of hell cannot prevail against the church. So lift us up and strengthen us. Help us not to be weary in well-doing. Help us not to fall out by the wayside. Oh God, but you promise to prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Oh God, you promise to anoint our head with oil and our cup shall run over. We pray you'll hasten your words to perform it. We give ourselves to you and we decree and declare this evening. Oh God, that through the power of your blood, somebody will be transformed, delivered heal, save, and sanctify, and this world shall be a better place. Keep us under the shadow of the Almighty this evening. Oh God, is a day that put their trust in thee, shall be lifted up, oh God, like Mount Zion, which shall not be removed, but abided forever. Oh, he that dwelleth in the secret place, oh God of the Almighty, oh, hallelujah, oh, of, the, of you, Lord God, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and we shall say of the Lord, he is our refuge and our strength. We strengthen ourselves in thee through the blood. Oh God, we drink of the blood. We eat of the blood. Oh God, this evening, and we strengthen our spiritual lives. Oh God, many cannot understand when we use these terminologies. But we know in whom we have believed and we are persuaded that you are able to keep us. So we give ourselves to you this evening. And we declare our lives the lives of victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we ask that you will just look, oh God. And oh God, Lord, our lives this evening, and we pray that through the power of the Holy Spirit, that somebody, oh God, will recognize that you are Lord and your blood is powerful. Oh, what a night it has been. I feel the presence of the Lord. I could feel people praying. I could see the, brought my brothers and sisters by faith worshiping the Lord in your little corners and in your home and all over the place. Uh, I just somebody sending a, a testimony tonight. Uh, Narisa Welsh testimony got prayer for her mother oh, to get her green card and she has now got it. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. The date for the interview. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I will not say the rest of it, but God is, God is good. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. When God declares the release of documents it is because of the power in the blood of jesus not i that pray but because of the power hallelujah god i give all reverence to you i give all glory to you thank you god that you have allowed hallelujah even in the midst of 
these problems that this somebody has received their green card and we pray that they will recognize the power of the blood and they will hold on to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the song man say, hold on to Jesus. Never let go his hand. He will see you through. No matter what phases you, God is in control. So this evening, don't worry about anything. And if there's another person, hallelujah, blessed be the name of you. Find something and hold it up. Or just lift up something and hold it up and declare. If you need your green card, just declare that, God, I need my green card. And I release the blood of Jesus upon it. Whatever you need for your success, your prosperity, and your upward mobility. This is your season. You are Lord. You are holy and righteous. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Wow, good. May heaven's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are holy. Yes, Lord, you're Lord. You are Lord. You are God. Yes, Lord. Have a great weekend, my brothers and sisters, my friends and my neighbors in Media Land. And I'll see you this Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. God bless you.